Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to collect a My Health Test at home dried blood spot sample. Now My Health Test dried blood spot test is probably a little bit different to the other types of uh, finger prick tests you might have done previously, such as a daily blood glucose measurement. The main difference is the size and consistency of the blood drop that we're looking for. So as you can see here, what we're after is a single blood drop that fills the circle. And if you turn that card over, you can see that it's bled consistently through to the back as well. All right, so once your uh, sample collection kit arrives in the mail, it should look something like this. And it should contain a test request form this is to fill it out and give us authorization to process your sample. Uh, sealed sample collection kit and a replied paid postage envelope. So this is to post your sample back to our lab. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the sealed sample collection kit. It contains a resource card, step-by-step -step instructions, a dried blood spot card, a small envelope, two safety lancets, an alcohol wipe, a gauze swab, and two band-aids. It's very important that you follow these instructions as closely as possible. Step one, wash your hands under warm water for a minimum of 30 seconds. This step is really important, obviously to clean your hands of any dirt or residue, but also the warm water helps to stimulate the blood flow, which is going to help you get a better sample. Step two, on the blood collection card, write your full name, date of birth, and today's date in the spaces provided. Step three, complete the test request form. So you wanna tick who the person being tested is. If that's yourself, tick myself. If it's someone in your care, fill out their details. You then wanna fill in the sample collection information. So this is the time and the date that you're collecting your sample. You want to pay attention to the details of the person being tested and answer the questions here if they apply to you. Lastly, you want to sign your form. This gives us authorization to process your sample. Without this, we can't process. And lastly, pay attention to the amount of blood spots that are required to perform your test. Step four, give your hands a shake and grab them together to help stimulate blood flow. Step five, so you want to open up your alcohol prep pad Open up your gauze and one of the band-aids and place these in front of you so that they're ready to use. Now step six, you want to make sure that you've got your blood collection card in front of you and you want to choose the finger that you're going to collect your sample from. Now the best sample is often collected from the ring finger or from the middle finger and where you want to punch it is just at the tip of it and slightly off center. Step seven. So you want to pick up your alcohol wipe and clean the end of your finger um, that you're going to collect your sample from. Pick up the lancet, remove the cap and position it onto your finger. Now where you want it is just on the end and slightly off center. And when you're ready, you want to gently push down until the lancet activates. Step eight, you want to pick up your gauze pad and wipe away that first drop of blood. All right, so now you want to turn your hand into a vertical position using your other hand to support your finger. And you want to begin to massage down the finger until you can see the blood is starting to form on the end. You want to keep doing this um, until you can almost see a blood drop that is about to fall off the finger. Keep massaging. Sometimes you need to be quite patient for this to happen. And once it looks like it's ready to fall off, you want to touch the blood to the card, but not your finger. And you just repeat this continually massaging until you feel the required amount of circles. Now don't worry if your blood drop goes outside of the circle. These are just a guide for the size that we're looking for.
Now, if you want to, if you're having trouble filling an entire circle, you'll need to try again on a new circle. So if your blood spot looks slightly smaller like this one, try again on a new circle. So keep massaging down the finger, be patient. All right, now once you've completed the number of spots that you're required to do, pick up your alcohol wipe, clean the end of the finger again, and get your Band-Aid ready to put on your finger. So if you're having trouble with blood flow and you haven't filled the required amount of circles, don't be afraid to try your second lancet on another finger. Often the blood flow is a lot better from another site. Now once you've completed the test and you have the required amount of circles, you want to put your sample collection card into the small little card envelope. Place this inside your reply paid envelope. And then you've got your test request form. You want to do a final check just to make sure that everything is filled out correctly. Paying special attention to this signature down the bottom because that's what gives us the authorization to process the sample. Place that into the reply pay postage envelope. Seal this up and post it in any Australian post box within 24 hours. All of your sample collection materials, these can be disposed of in just your regular household waste. And everyone, that's how you collect a My Health Test Dried Blood Spot Test. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to contact the friendly customer service team. They're there to help you every step of the way.